Hello, thanks for joining me. Sit down and have a cup. During my career working with Fortune 500 companies, I personally designed, presented, and observed countless business presentations all over the U.S. These have included one-on-ones, small groups, board of directors, large conferences, teleconferences, video clips, and webinars. The problem with most presentations, whether they're delivered through PowerPoint, webinars, video, or even speeches, is that they fail to focus on what's most vital to the audience. So neither the presenter or the organization is positioned as an industry thought leader. These presentations are designed so poorly that they may waste up to an hour or more to communicate maybe 15 to 20 minutes of real meaningful content. Why was Steve Jobs such a successful business presenter? He understood exactly what needed to be accomplished from his presentations. It was actually twofold, confirming Apple's position as the industry thought leader and building a community of raving fans. Here are 24 new rules to help you create any kind of presentation designed to brand you as the industry thought leader and make your presentation, no matter what kind it is, more memorable and best of all, the kind that generates action. Do an assessment of your current presentations. Do you honestly feel any of this? Yes, I asked if your presentations generate feelings. You see, for presentations to be effective, they must use feelings and data to be both impactful and memorable. New rule number one, state your promise and keep it. Tell them what they're going to learn today. In our first slides, we promised how to immediately improve any presentation and position you as an industry thought leader through these 24 new rules. Your promise is why they are attending. They need to learn something new and how it is of value to their careers. Number two, scrap the housekeeping. I know this is heresy because a lot of people will come late, especially to webinars, but begin on time and repeat important content so everyone won't miss it. Our real presentation really didn't start until the slide prior to this one. So start on time, begin with your promise, repeat the major points often, and you can email all that housekeeping stuff prior to the webinar. Without question, Steve Jobs was one of the best business presenters ever. He had two goals when presenting, confirming Apple as the industry thought leader and creating raving fans. Why do we call customers fans? Fans are extremely loyal, they're extremely forgiving, they buy more, they pay more, and they love to talk about you. Can you imagine your logo is so well loved that people will tattoo it on their bodies? Sure, it happens all the time. You've seen it with Harley Davidson. Industry thought leaders never play it safe. They're outrageous, they share innovation, they're disruptive to the norm, which is why they generate big followings. Now this is big and still an untapped opportunity according to Marty Barletta, who is the author of Marketing to Women. They're not only the number one buyers of business services of all kinds, they are also educated buyers and they're interested in learning as much as possible. They're looking to connect with a trusted advisor and it's all about service and relationship, which makes price actually secondary. So how does this affect your presentation? She's dedicated to finding the perfect answer. And this is achieved primarily through pursuing relevant information, building relationships, and making connections. So you need to be a part of her purchasing process. When you include stories, it greatly impacts your audience. And whoever tells the best story and tells it best will win. Many people think that their product is boring, and it's not really about what the product is, it's what it means to the user, what it means to their job and to their career. So the new rules are to turn that complex idea into an effective story that transforms the complexity into relevancy. For example, Steve Jobs' story of having been fired from Apple only to return and save the company through his innovations, including iTunes and iPhone, has been effectively weaved into the Apple brand. How many dramatic stories can your salespeople come up with that ended up in a win-win? Share a story about a mess a customer is in and how you helped clean it up. The story is about the solution and the customer. Because in your story, the customers are the star and your company plays the role of the hero. Design your presentation to wow. Use lots of color and colorful language, and I don't mean the four-letter kind. Most of the time, marketers just present product features without engaging the prospect's senses and feelings. The effective communication stimulates the imagination. It's through your design you can communicate the most relevant features of your presentation or solution that will generate meaningful questions and feedback. Imagery greatly enhances memory, so take advantage of a 65% improvement in retention when you add pictures, and I don't mean cartoons, photographs. This is because people can only remember about 10% of what they hear after just 72 hours. 
Make sure you include infographics because the combination of imagery and information significantly improves retention. Killer charts versus charts that kill our ability to remember anything. You do it through a strong emotional story, experience, or a bold statement. A complicated chart makes it difficult for the audience to focus on the real point to be made. Major points told through an emotional statement or story is how to get people to remember the stuff they really need to make a decision in your favor. Let this soak in for a minute. Making your customer a raging success means every slide is about your customer's success. Every comment, chart, bullet, image needs to get this point across. Ask yourself, as you're designing each slide, will this help make our customer more successful? Video is big because 95% of the viewers retain the message in a video compared to only 10% of what they read in text. And you can do more than one video, maybe three at 20 to 30 seconds each, every 10 to 20 slides apart. Your presentation will be injected with energy and you will really grab the viewer's attention. And if you upload your video on YouTube, it can go viral. Video doesn't have to be super professional, just good resolution, clear audio and lighting. Real people in your video really works and adds more credibility, like in this example. An innovative B2B marketing campaign in the last six months. I've worked for a while with a company named Door Components. They make steel doors and frames. How much more industrial can you get than that? I mean, they make product in this country to sell for these steel doors and frames nationwide. We went from no marketing to creating a website for them, SEOing the website, creating a newsletter. They went from 100 people on their email list to 12,000 in three months. Include a guest star to co-host your presentation. Co-host with someone who's a recognized thought leader in the field and can attract their fans to your presentation or a customer from a well-known company. Unless this is a technical training session, do not use a tech guy. You want the focus to be on results. Here's five ways to boost your thought leadership. Deliver breaking news. Share your considerable knowledge. People love to hear success stories. Position your distinctiveness and share what the future holds for them. Remember, this is what raving fans want from a thought leader. And these important tools, such as newsletters, press releases, case studies, white papers, and webinars, will position you as the go-to industry leader. Another important rule is to be inclusive. Make sure you're talking to 100% of the qualifieds. You have those who are ready to buy now, but those who are still going to be on the fence and those who will buy much later. You want to be connecting with all of them. So create compelling content that's targeted to each segment of your audience. What's interesting to know is that the war for new customers is not really with your competition. Nearly 60% of qualified leads do not buy from the competition. They fall victim to the status quo. They aren't buying from anyone. That leaves about 40% of the leads that are buying, but probably just not from you. This is why the presentation must be designed to connect with every segment, no matter where they are in their buying journey. So what can you say to the group that's on the fence? Maybe something like this. Perhaps you believe that this solution is right for your company, but you don't have all the internal buy-in that you need to get your company off the fence. We'll help you build an impartial business case to present this solution internally. And you still have your choice of vendors. This is what we do as an industry leader. We help you make informed decisions. Now the presenter is 102% of your presentation success, which is why you need an effective script that will keep your presentation on course and faster paced. As you rehearse, keep tweaking the presentation as well as the script. Keep it tight and eliminate all the non-essentials. After hearing your voice, you may probably think you're speaking too fast or too slow, but it's okay to speak more on the faster side because it adds energy to the presentation. And one more thing about scripting. Integrate emotional language and imagery into your script. Be excited. Say what you have is super fantastic, eye-popping, makes you cry, what a headache, you'll laugh, you can almost taste it, and so on. In the B2B world, most of your audience has an emotional stake in what they learn. It can mean their jobs or a promotion. And finally, use plain, everyday language. Try to use a minimum of tech talk and corporate brochure terminology. Plain talk energizes your presentation, and it will move at a faster pace. Every so often during your presentation, stop and ask one or two questions. This is a great way to inject attentiveness, interaction, and engagement. It will hugely impact retention. And best of all, you can learn new ways to make your content much better. You know, it's okay to ask for directions. You want to make your presentation everything it can be. The old rules are don't take advantage of internal collaboration. The new rules are talk to everybody that can offer big input, useful data, case studies, and stories. This includes talking to people from sales, marketing, product, finance, customer service, and even outside of the company. Look at your database of past attendees and create a SQL. Your SQL presentation can include many of the same elements as the original, but with new information, updates, and videos. 
give it a facelift. Think of your webinars in terms of a series, like a TV show, same characters but new stories. Be sure to always post presentations online where they can be accessed for review and attracting new fans. A lot of presenters will jam every page with a lot of bullets and then proceed to read everything to you. It really drags. This is why it's important to design each slide to make just two or three major points. Remember the goal is to make your major points memorable and actionable. And this is also accomplished when you include stories and graphic images. I can't emphasize enough the importance of rehearsing and tweaking your presentation and rehearsing some more. The emphasis is on tweaking. You can eliminate all the stuff that doesn't matter to make your presentation flow much better and maintain a higher level of energy and interest. Plan and execute your presentation so well that what others need an hour to present, you can do it in two thirds or even half the time. Tight presentations are always more memorable and they'll keep your audience coming back again and again. Final rule is it's hammer time. So break your rules, reorganize and scrap the fluff, emphasize thought leadership, be well prepared, be a passionate speaker, give them news, not a bunch of noise, and make the customer a success, and always connect with the heart as well as the mind. And lastly, transform all your presentations into video and make them accessible online and especially on mobile devices. I hope you enjoyed this presentation today and you found it very useful. Please contact me to discuss your own presentations and for a free consultation.